<laughs> oh, dude. This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by NordVPN. Head on over to nordvpn.com slash rogue, sign up for two years, get a huge discount, and four months free. I love our new cast member. Yeah. So what if he came at you? What would you do? Cry. 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 He would be there with no arms. He'd be like, I disapprove. I think that would be pretty terrifying, honestly. So I've got a book called The Guide to Improvised Weaponry by U.S. Master Sergeant Terry Shappert, Special Forces. So these are all, as you pitched it to me, weapons of last resort. Like, yes, we all know that that, that someone out there always has a weapon on them. Your guns, your knives, your whatevers. If you have none of that, you gotta do something that will probably be better than your bare hands. Now, this is an encyclopedia of how to hurt people with the things that are around you. They are acts of desperation. They sound crazy, okay? I don't know that they're gonna work, but I wanna test them yeah. on our new friend Okay, here. so what's the first item we're testing? Hairspray! Uh, uh, okay, so what can you do with hairspray? I guess right off the bat, this is, with if it's full, it's got heft and weight. Right. And better than a fist, I gotta imagine that. Oh. Yep. Oh, do that. Did do it that. feel good? Do that. We're supposed to fill this with water, right? But. We don't no. have water. That's yeah, fine. we don't have That's it. fine. That's fine. So I'm thinking like bridge in the nose, right? Yeah. This this actually isn't in the book, but this sounds pretty effective sure. to me, right? Like a like right there. No, yeah. give it, give it. That give hurt my wrist. Him. That hurt my what? wrist. What? Okay. How did he injure you? He injured me. He's, he's look at those eyes. <laughs> it's BJ Blaskowitz. Piercing eyes. <laughs> yeah, this in the face, like. Okay. Oh. All right. Now I'm believing it. Yeah. yeah. Right. No, that'll definitely crush all that in there. Yeah. Or like back of the head. You know, something like that. Back of the neck. I think. I think bridge of the nose has to be the best. That's got to be the best. Maybe. Right? Maybe you. Could, you might be able to carve off an ear if you came down in a stabbing oh, motion. Yeah. Or something. You could probably rip off somebody's right? ear. But yeah. yeah. That would legit hurt. The obvious thing is like fire, right? Right. But first, they say if you don't have fire, they call the eyes the keys to the kingdom. Okay. So once you blind somebody, the fight's over. So, which by the way, that's the way I used to play Fallout 2 all the time. It was always you sprayed hairspray on no, the no, on was, the mutants. It was critical hits. Rack scorpions. Eye. It was always <laughs> critical hit to the eyes because once you hit the eyes, they can only one, move one square and then you just had them. Oh, yeah. Well, see, check that out. See, now he's blind and you can run away, right, which let you me, probably let me, do. let me, here, I'm just going to do a dust. All right, do you it. Just walk through I'm with ready. your eyes open, okay? Now, spray me in the face. What? Spray me in the face. For reals? Yeah, do it. Yeah, that's no good. That's, Wait, how, mean, how bad is it? It's not, uh, no, that wouldn't have done anything. Really? really? I mean, it's, it's annoying, but yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, no, that's <laughs> now I'm all sticky. <laughs> <laughs> but your hair looks fabulous. <laughs> Give me some breeze. Can we get some wind in here? See, it's not that big of a deal. This is not, but it, it is uncomfortable enough that if I'm coming at you and wailing on you like this the entire time. Oh yeah, no, that like, works. Like, like you can't. It's like a smoke screen, a distraction. Watch it be delayed, and then like later in the day we're both <laughs> blind. Like, oh god, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, but I'm a, I'm all sticky. But yeah, that that's it's a good distraction, right? All right, so let me see the fire thing. Now, everybody knows this works, yes. right? And you're not gonna have a torch. You're gonna use a lighter or something okay, like that. But, but. but imagine, okay, he's coming at me and I'm hiding around the corner. I know he's coming for me. God, that menacing face. I know, he's just got these dead, angry eyes. Child, I know you will protect me. Child I serve will your will. you out. <laughs> this is, we are one. We They're have become- They're allied together. <laughs> oh, dude. It felt pretty good? I want to do it. Yeah, give it a try. Give it a try. Here, turn around. All you're, right, you're, you're hiding around the corner. Murphy! I have emerged from another intellectual property to destroy you. Oh, oh my, look back. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> 
that, I think that would be an effective attack against somebody, right? Yeah, so let's say your fists are zero. You need literally anything to get an edge. On a scale of one to 10, 10 being like, you know, the BFG 9000, how much of an advantage does having hairspray give you over not having it? I'm gonna go with like a six. It's yeah. pretty good if you can I, light I, in it. In fact, I, I know this is only the first one we're testing, but so far, like, I would definitely prefer to go at somebody with something that can bash in the face, bash in the nose, tear off an ear, and burn them alive, and mess with their eyes. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna say seven, actually. Seven? Yeah, yeah. I guess step one, you, you crack them across the head, right? Actually, no. What? The head is a fast moving target and they can get out of the way. They say go for the extremities, like the arms and the legs. Oh yeah, because if this comes down on your arm, very good chance that they, that, that arm is disabled. Yeah. And chances are, if you are engaged in someone randomly when you're hanging out at a construction site, they're gonna be trying to mug you. They're gonna be armed. So you're gonna wanna disarm them. Do you wanna try uh, it? Yeah, you... I guess we should find out. We should, we should try it on. Right, I... Sorry, Dave. Yeah. All right, earn your keep. I know you're not supposed to do the head, but- But he I mean, doesn't have any arms or legs. Yeah. Wow, that's a solid scuff on there. You, you, you scuffed the helmet. We just added character. Yeah, give him a good blow on the side. On, on the side? Yeah. Yeah. Feel I like mean, that would wreck somebody? Maybe crack a rib, yeah. Okay, that would hurt him. Yeah, you want, you want to give him a- <laughs> Yeah, I do. This is apparently just a therapy session. Absolutely. Yeah, see, it feels pretty good. Yeah, Dave isn't as breakable as I would like. Okay. The uh, second tip is to go for the toes, for the feet and the toes, basically to keep them from pursuing you. Yeah, okay, that seems super awkward. Here, come, right. come here, come here. I've got this, mm -hmm. and, I, and I go full on jump man from Donkey Kong, like I'm trying to get your toes. What if, yeah, right? I'm glad that was a prop knife. <laughs> it is. So it's like, let's go to a highly mobile, very small target yeah. that is super awkward. What if he's, what if he's, you know, Doing a little moonwalk, maybe? Why would you go for the toe? Plus, people wear steel toed but If you're at a construction site, you're gonna be wearing steel toed shoes. Hit the arms makes sense. I believe yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Toes just seems insane to me. I don't understand yeah. the, the, the thinking behind it. What else? The next one is using it as a prod and going for like the jaw, backing it up like this, oh, guiding it with good. the other hand. Jaw, what? nose, you know, groin. And as we Me. learned, as we learned with the quarterstaff, I mean, that is an extremely effective weapon. Yeah. That because the, the ability to essentially do everything that you would do unarmed, just mm -hmm. with a longer reach, that is pretty good. Yeah. And then this way, uh, this you're exposed. The moment you miss, it's over with. Whereas this, you are never oh, yeah. not about to hit them. That's a really good point. You wanna try that one on Dave? Give him a good pop to the jaw, maybe? Sure, sure. Like. <laughs> That'll work, yeah. This feels as effective as swinging, only it's prepped at all times. Because even if he tries to come at me, he's gotta walk through this. Yeah. And it's like he has to expend the en energy to push it away. I think this is my favorite thing. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, f you, Dave. Yeah, Dave. That felt pretty good. Did it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love to comment on your YouTube channel. I don't care! <laughs> I do care. Are you nice? Are you cool? Wait, are you trolling? Ah! In where your balls should be, Dave! The other one is if you were trying to run away. Yeah. And you go around a corner and then you time it. I'm not even kidding. No. I'm not even kidding. You this time is, it. This is. And you trip them up and then you run. <laughs> All right, if you're going around the corner, why wouldn't you time it? You can listen to it and you could just waylay them. You could also do that. Hey, what is this Scooby Doo shit? <laughs> I mean, here, you want to try? I guess Let's we try should it. try. Yeah, right, I'm gonna eat shit. Just run <laughs> and go. Where is that brushwood? I want his sweet ducats. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> pop, 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 pop. All right, here, I'm gonna try, I'm try it again, try it again. Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, no. That's the other thing, is if I can't see you, how am I even gonna be able to time this? Like, we're working together on this. All right, <laughs> keep going, keep going. All right. Yeah, that was, you, you banged my shin. Well, now you did! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so now he's pissed off enough to kill me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Overall, what do we rate this well, one? I mean, obviously, out of everything, we're gonna test the two by fours at the top of the list. But Absolutely. I'm just, I'm just gonna use it to, to, to smash their, their head in, right? Stick with the simple That's stuff, right? That's the end of it. Yeah. I don't wanna overthink it. I don't wanna go for the toes. I mean, this maybe, you know, but, but even this is more like, hey, you, get out of here. Yeah, it, but this, honestly, how often are you gonna stumble across a two by four lying around? It says two by four, but I'm thinking like, you know, you grab a poker from the fireplace. You can, any long sticky uh, uh, stick. Any long sticky stick. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would you rate it? 
This is a weird one. It's a split decision. For the efficacy of the weapon, uh, probably at the very top. It's one of the perfect uh, blunt force items. So it's gonna be the first thing I grab in the Hunger Games, but two out of the four ideas are really bad, I think. Okay, yeah, I What's would agree with that. Uh, same, yeah. Two of them are a little ridiculous. I do have a bruise on my shin, though. Yeah, so yeah. That's, I, you, you I'm gave, not sure why you, you asked me, me to do that. Owie. <laughs> but whatever. The mere fact that we felt comfortable doing that to you and not uh, to Dave was uh, was was a little bit bogus. Here, hold on. Uh-oh. I'll probably hit the head. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a good night, right? I think so, yeah. All right, you got this one. I'm gonna tie my tie. Episode on ties. I don't remember. There's like three of them. No, 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 no. Is it a triple? Double, double Windsor. Is it a triple Windsor? Man. Okay. That's probably starting too long. God. I can't remember if you start the short side on the left or the right. Oh God. Okay. Is it righty, tidy, lefty, loose? No, that's something else. Jason, a little help. Yeah, second. Over. Jason! All right, all right, hang on. So terrible. Coming in hot! Funerals. Doug's list. Gonna have to get another suit. I don't know if this is a shared experience, but I found myself on a computer accessing the internet, and I thought to myself, well, most traffic on the internet is encrypted, but everybody can see where I'm going. How do I feel about that? And then I walked outside naked. I don't know if this is a shared experience. The point is, you might as well be naked because anybody can see where you're coming and going from. You're like a freight car with your freight all exposed. Everyone can tell what website you're going to at your Starbucks or on any kind of Wi-Fi, or even if people are sniffing right at your own home, and I don't like none of that. That's why I use NordVPN, and you can too. Head on over to nordvpn.com slash rogue, sign up for two years, get four months free. We're talking top grade encryption. We're talking about the ability to tunnel all over the world. You wanna know what the news looks like in other places of the world? You can experience that. All of those creepy ads that are weirdly targeted to you, showing you stuff that you definitely already bought. Here's a story. Once I tried to surprise my wife with a trip to go on ski resorts, I made the mistake of not using a VPN. All she saw for months leading up to her birthday were ads for ski resorts. Don't be a sucker like I was. Be a cool guy like I am now. Head on over to nordvpn.com slash rogue. Sign up for two years, get four months free. Even if you've never used a VPN before, they make it so easy, they have a 30 day money back guarantee. Okay, this is awkward. I found out recently that other people are pitching NordVPN, but let me assure you that nobody has a better deal than me for you, because I love you. Modern Rogue is supported in part by viewers like you at patreon.com slash modern rogue. In the description, you can find all of our credits and additional ways to support the show. Oh wait, hold on, what about this? Oh no. No. That? No. Ah! No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I, I should I should never have done that. I should never have done that. You and me forever. It's fine. <laughs>